Hey guys, it's Patrick here. So I've been designing and printing mods for the Honeycomb Alpha and Honeycomb Bravo for a couple months now with an aim of converting it into a 747 flight system. Out of the box, um, these products by default are fantastic and they really do elevate your flight sim experience. However, there are some flaws within these products that I would like to address just to improve the products just a little bit more. And with my recently acquired 3D printing and 3D modeling skills, I hope to address some of these issues and just improve the overall experience. So the three main mods that I've worked on, and that's firstly the flap system with detents, allowing you to know the position of the flaps as well as keeping it in position. Secondly, we have the speed brake system. Speed brake system, like just like the flap system, is linear out of the box, and adding this rail allows it to uh, function in a similar way to the aircraft. And lastly, it was just a Boeing style clipboard that I wanted to create just for the aesthetics and allowing me to mount checklists or pieces of paper onto the yoke if needed. So the most important mod out of all of these mods that I've just talked about is the flap system with detent. So out of the box, it is a linear flap system. The problem with this is that it doesn't really allow you to, to know where exactly the position of the flap is as well as it's really easy to move around. So you could uh, move the flaps too far down or too far up. I understand that Honeycomb did this because it is a generic product. It has to be uh, compatible with various different types of aircraft. So they couldn't really uh, install detents into the default product itself. So that's why I had to come up with this mod. And in fact, it was actually so difficult to use. I ended up just giving up using this lever. Online, there's a guy called Russ from Flat Modsters that has done something similar. I suggest you check him out because um, he's done a design for every single type of aircraft out there. However, it does replace the fourth um, engine thrust lever with his uh, mod. So it fits into this slot right here and adds the detents. So that, that uh, would actually work great if you only have um, two engines. But since I'm trying to design this for the 747, then this wouldn't work because you need the fourth engine on the Bravo. But yeah, I suggest you check out his uh, channel and links are in the description down below. And they're definitely designed by a more experienced CAD designer. However, since it wasn't compatible with the 747, I had to take heavy inspiration from his design, mounting it to the right side of the Bravo. This allows it, this allows me to have my fourth engine as well as having a flap track system. So this uh, won't interfere with the functionality of the Bravo. And of course, since I shifted it to the right side, uh, I had to redesign the parts. So I had to re come up with this uh, spring design as well as this little clip right here that holds the spring in place. And simply, uh, this spring was just taken out from uh, a generic pen and it works really well. With a spring, it is very satisfying to use as well as audible every time you put the flap into position. And next up, we have the speed brake system. So in the real aircraft, and I'll show you here on the sim, there are three positions of the speed brake. There is the down position, there is the armed position, and there is the up position. I wanted to simulate that while operating uh, the Bravo as well. Obviously, this does not simulate the operation of the sleeper in real life. However, it does uh, simulate the three positions really well. And once you stow the speed brake, pushing it all the way forward, it will lock back into position. And lastly, the Boeing style clipboard. This is probably the least important mod out of all of the mods I've talked about so far. However, it took the greatest amount of brain power to come up and design with because this is designed from completely scratch. Um, and I just came up with the designs sitting down and, and just pretty much drawing, figuring out how to mount the clipboard onto this uh, yoke. The main design idea behind this is that I didn't want to have any hardware. So I came up with a design that uses 3D printed clips that is held into place while the clipboard itself is held into place by friction. So although I didn't really want to go out and buy anything, I had to get this clip. So this you can pretty much find at any stationery store. And I suggest you actually get a slightly smaller one if you're planning on uh, making something similar. I guess technically you could also 3D print uh, a clip, but designing that was a little bit out of my skill level. And this is simply way easier just to go and buy one. And it's really cheap as well. And I actually did an extra mod and that's this little piece right here. This goes on the bottom of the flap lever and it just improves the finishing of the uh, product. Out of the box, the Bravo doesn't have any uh, cover on the bottom of the flap here. 
which makes it slightly uncomfortable to use and it seems a little bit unfinished. So just finishing off the flap, you just put this piece in and it just clips into place. To wrap this video up, overall I'm pretty happy with um, all of the designs that I have uh, printed out. They definitely are quite functional and they do their job. And if you guys are interested in uh, these files, then I can uh, potentially upload them after refining them. Because currently they're still a little bit gimmicky and they don't work 100% all the time. So yeah, if you guys are interested, then like and uh, subscribe. And comment down below letting me know you guys are interested in these. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time on Patrick Sachs.